Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. Recently, Tyler Perry received some backlash over his post about not having a writer's room. Mm. He addressed the comments and justified his reasons behind writing his own material. He also noted that he's giving other showrunners and writers opportunities on to develop their own projects. But it brings up a bigger question. Do successful black people have an obligation to give opportunities to other black people? I think I, um, yeah. this is absurd. First of all, the amount of people that he's employed in his movies goes without saying, um, you don't get to choose which opportunities that he gets to give. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, that's not fair. Um, if he wants to write, he has the right, <laughs> no pun intended, to um, dictate uh, what his content is. Ultimately, when the, sh when the movie comes out, it's his name. It's not the actor's names or the writer's names. It's his name. So he has a right to uh, oversee any part of that he wants. I think that Tyler Perry is one of the, um, uh, the the moguls in our community that does a great job employing African Americans, and especially African Americans that you've never even seen or yep. heard of before. Yep. Yep. He doesn't just go with the A-listers all the time. He goes and he's found so much new talent um, that it doesn't make any sense. Um, and as far as the question in general, as a writer myself mm -hmm. who writes most of my material, it's fun to write with others, but I personally like to be the, the forerunner in my writing That's as right. well because right. it is my voice. It is my, um, at the end of the day, it is going to be what, it's going to be me that's represented. So I have a right to um, determine how I put others on. You know what I'm saying? And there has to be boundaries because other people need to understand that you have to do what you have to do to get yourself ahead, that other people are not obligated to get you to another level. You, there has to be something in you also that wants to, put, to propel yourself and do the work as well. Well, two things. I'm sorry. No. Two oh. things. Number one, he is not obligated to create right. a room for someone to write. As a, as, a, as a writer as well, you write anywhere. Yeah. You make sure you always have your pen and paper or your dictaphone or whatever it is mm -hmm. that you have to write. And you can go in your own little closet, your own little room, your own little space, your own home, yeah. and write and, and bring it, you know, to work or whatever. He's not obligated to to to, to uh, make make sure you have a space for, for that moment that you that you want to have. But as an entrepreneur as well, I'm gonna hire who's best for the job. Yes. However, I believe in pulling other black people up. Mm -hmm. I believe in encouraging other black people yep. and black business owners, especially those who are are new in the business. If if I can't hurt you, I'm not. If I can't help you, I'm not gonna hurt you. Yeah. yeah. You know, it's one of those kind of situations. Um, I do I do feel like we have an obligation to help educate other black people. Mm -hmm. I think we have an obligation to encourage other black people. Qualified uh, black people. Ex and that's the point. Mm -hmm. I don't care what color you are. If you are prepared. If, if, you're, if you're right for the job, then that's who I'm going to hire. Mm -hmm. But I would like to see other black entrepreneurs, you know, pull up and come up and yeah. glow up. But I don't think it's um, my responsibility to make sure they make it just because they're black, because it is up to you to fulfill that within yourself. I can't yes. do that for you. Well, I think that once we, um, okay, we have the proverbial seat at the table, but we also have to have our own seat at the table. And I do think we are obligated to mm -hmm. open the door. Yep. I do think that, um, and I've always said that on this show, I think that success is determined by who you bring along with you. Mm -hmm. And you bring these people right here with you. But I think the true definition of success is when you can sit back and say, oh my God, God, thank you for allowing me to be used as a mm -hmm. vessel to yes. help catapult their career. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So I do think that when we have an opportunity to be in the door, to be in the room, yes, keep the door open for mm -hmm. some other people, uh, particularly African-American women in our case, I love somebody. because we're so incredibly talented, we're so incredibly worthy, we t we're so incredibly obligated to do the work that we do because God made us that way, mm -hmm. that we have to continue to pass the torch. I am here for making sure other people are coming along for the ride. Yes. And I know that for me personally, I've been blessed beyond measure because I help others. Yes. I know that hands down. I will help somebody else to the end, almost forsaking myself, which I'm still you mm -hmm. know, coming to, to grips with and grasping that, that I have to take care of myself. But I know that God has blessed me tremendously because Definitely. I've helped, other, helped others mm -hmm. along the way. So I think it's our, I think it's our duty, yes. absolutely. Well, we're blessed to be a blessing. Mm -hmm. However, you have to still put everything in perspective because you're not supposed to take everybody. Yep. No, you have to yep. be strategic yes. in who yes. you are going to choose, absolutely, mm -hmm. because it's on your name. Yeah. Um, but I feel like 
because we've been given this gift mm -hmm. of knowing what's good and what's not, we can still be able to decipher Absolutely. who deserves to be Absolutely. along with us. What, just, what say you, Miss Quad? Well, you guys have said everything. Mm -hmm. I completely <laughs> agree. Yeah. With both, yeah. with both sides of the coin. Yeah, right absolutely, mm -hmm. absolutely. So I just yeah. think that, you know, um, as we continue to grow um, in our professional lives, our personal lives, I mean, we all know we have sisters, we're sorority members. You know what it's like when you have a little Neo or a pro fight that you're trying to help or just a sister in general to be able to help her? Yes. Well, well, it that makes is you, so awesome to it me. Makes you it feels is more rewarding it than is. anything. Well, you know, I've always said that we were created for service. Yes. So yes. That's, that goes without saying. But my point with, you know, what they were talking about with Tyler is I think that we shouldn't get into a mindset that just because someone has made it, right. they're obligated to bring you up without the work. you doing the right. work. You, you gotta do the work. work. And you have to they do the work. That's, that's your the work. That's now, because me, if I see somebody working, I'm trying to get them where they need yes. to go, hands down. Mm -hmm. But there are a lot of times where people think that they should skip their dues Oh, yeah. and, and get and to have, where and you have are. the life or position that, that you, you have, have. Exactly. without the dues. Yeah, and, yeah. It's not going to happen that way. If they're willing to pay the dues, <laughs> mm -hmm. then I personally, and whatever those dues are, because I'm not the one to determine that. Yeah. God determines that. But yeah. if yeah. I see others, someone else working and trying, I'm definitely going to try to help them. But That's we right. can't, we have to get out of the mindset. And we definitely should help the our own people. The, and the, the entitlement. The entitlement. The entitlement and the that. You um, have yeah. to, you have to do, because like you said, Rashawn, you can get into a place where you helping somebody up so much, you haven't even gotten to your stuff, right. and so now your stuff suffers. Mm -hmm. uh, Michelle Obama said, it's just like the plane theory. I got to put my mask on first mm -hmm. before I can save somebody else. I, I'm going to say this, too, before we wrap up. You can't ask God to help you to win the lottery if you don't buy a ticket. Come Come that's on, that's right. I think everyone can understand. And then you can that. End it on absolutely, that. absolutely. Well, we want uh, you to tell us how you feel. So let us know at Sister Circle TV on all social media platforms. Up next.